Hey team, welcome to your Barefoot Boot Camp class. This is number eight. For this class, you will need a pair of heavy dumbbells. I have 20s, so anything between 10 to 20s might work for you. And a pair of mediums, I have 10s, and again, five to 10 works. And I also have one light dumbbell. I have a five for technique, because we're gonna cover a specific drill today. We're gonna get started with mobility flow. Drop down to your tabletop position. Our mobility flow, we're gonna do each movement three times and then link them together at the end. Make sure your hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, on the balls of the feet. We start with a cat and cow, inhale, arch. On beat with the music, exhale, scoop the belly around the spine, really press the balls of the feet, tips of the toes into the mat, inhale, arch. Shine the heart forward, exhale, scoop the belly around the spine. Inhale, shine the heart. You can rotate the biceps out, and then exhale, scoop the belly around the spine. Send the arms slightly forward, drop the hips back towards the heels, and then right foot steps between the frames of the hands. Inhale, crescent moon, arms directly overhead as you exhale. Hips forward, elbows in, gaze to the sky. As you exhale, round the spine, coming into arrowhead, clasp the hands, flip it, and then reach back up, and then release. And we have two more times. Going on the fingertips gives you a little more height, a little more leverage. Ball the foot, hips back, hips forward, foot forward, inhale, spine is tall. As you exhale, hip forward, a little bit of uh, extension, and then reach forward with the hands, clasp, interlace, flip it, Open it, fingertip it, and the last one. Drop your hips straight back. Still on the balls of the feet, sending the hips forward. Right foot goes forward, and then crescent moon. Inhale, exhale, sun gaze. Inhale, arrowhead, reach. Interlace, flip, inhale, back up. Exhale, release. Fingertip the floor, and on the last one, you're gonna stay here, slide your left knee to the ball of the right foot, just like so. So this is gonna be the prep for your hunter's squat. Make sure the top of the knee is in line with the lead toe and you're sitting back on the heel. Moving on, walk your hands directly back. And all you're gonna do is press the hips up and you're gonna extend the rear leg forward, pulling the right hamstring towards you, drop, lay flat, and then Draw the right knee in, clasp the hands underneath the shin, press down, and then press the hips straight up. <sighs> right leg goes forward. A Little bit of momentum, not too much, because I really want you to squeeze your core on the way up. If you need help, you can grab the left shin. And then we got two more times. So rolling forward, big key, big tip, big point. Top of the knee in line with the top of the foot. Sitting on the heel and then sit it back. Two more times pressing the hips up, and again, it's the le uh, rear leg that's gonna extend, pull your right hamstring towards you, drop, stagger the stance, lay all the way down, draw the right leg in, clasp the hands, and then press the hips straight up, extending the hip, activating the glute, drop it down, right foot goes back to forward, you can reach back and throw the arms gently, and squeeze on the way up, last one, again, you can use your hands, Notice you're articulating through the big toe, the ankle, knee, in line with the top of the foot. So one straight line with your lead foot. Sit it back, plant the hands, press the hips forward. Your rear leg is the one that extends. Pull your right hamstring towards you, plant it, send it, and then lay flat, squeeze the core. Hands interlace, press the hips up, squeeze for three, two, roll it down. Right foot goes forward, just a little bit of momentum like a dash of paprika and squeeze the core, rolling it forward. That was your last one. Now, I'm gonna mirror you on this particular drill because I want you to get it because we're gonna have it later on in class. So mirroring you, you are gonna have your right leg long, left foot flat, right hand planted, left elbow towards the center, kind of a wide stance. Press the hips straight up as if you're doing Turkish, you get up all the way up and then drop down. Now retract your right knee in, coming into a bare position. Pivot your right foot, extend the left leg long. Right foot is flat, left leg is long, right elbow to center and then reach up. 
and then lower down. Plant it, retract your left knee in, and then two more times. Drop, your right leg is long, left foot is flat, reach up, hips up, retract it, catch yourself coming into this bear position. Pivot the foot, extend the leg, reach up, plant it, retract it. Last time through, last set. Extend, switch, reach up. And on the last one, extend the leg out. Cross at the ankles, reaching forward, stepping back, flowing right along. Going to the left side now with a little bonus mobility in between. From downward dog, articulate through, tip of the toes into plank position. You have two more. Option to drop the hips, drop the heels, and then extend the legs, roll through. And then you can dip the hips slightly. Articulate it through, drop the hips, drop the heels, knees hover, reaching forward, extend the legs, going for maximum flexion into maximum extension. Modification, just hold that plank position, pressing the hips back. This time, drop to your tabletop. We're going right to the left side. Arms slightly forward, drop the hips back into an active child's pose. Left foot goes forward, inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, sun gaze. Inhale, arrowhead, flip it. Exhale, up, inhale, release. Exhale, plant it, and then step back. Two more times. Hips back, send the foot forward, inhale. Tall spine, exhale, sun gaze, inhale, reach. Articulate, flip it, hands to the ceiling, release it. Last one, drop the hips back. So you're getting all kinds of mobility here, hips, spine, shoulders, breath, feeling the body, feeling yourself as they say, open up, plant it. That was the last one. So now you're gonna do is sneak the back leg in, setting up for your pop quiz, hunter squat. That's right, so knee in line with the top of the foot. You can also call this a hunter's lunge because this is what you would do if you were checking out some uh, game on the prairie. From here, all you're gonna do is drop the hips back, press the hips up. Now it's the rear leg that's gonna extend forward. Pull your left hamstring towards you, plant the right foot, and then squeeze on the way down. Draw the left knee in, press the hips up, activate the right glute. Release it, little bit of momentum if you need to. You could also grab the shin to pull yourself up, squeeze your core. Come back to the top of the hunter's lunge, setting up. Spine in line with the shin, shoulders down, chest up, sit it back. Press the hips up, and again, it's the rear leg. Activate the left hamstring, drop, plant it, and then, ooh, I lie. And then press the left knee up towards the ceiling, activating the right glute, reach forward. Last one. So again, top of the knee in line with the lead foot, straight line, chest is up, sit it back, press the hips up, extend, right leg forward, plant the right foot, drop, interlace, press, reach forward, a little bit of momentum, not too much. And this time you're gonna roll all the way through, shoot it back, a little bit of a back warm up. We got three reps, two sets. Basic Cobra first, inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale. Exhale, lower. Now we're gonna add the feet, inhale. Option to lift the legs, the feet. Two more. One more. Flip to the balls of the feet, press straight up. Downward facing dog. Walk the feet between the hands. We do a little bit of mobility, and then I'm gonna break down the hunter squat, some more mobility, and then some footwork. And then we'll get right into it, a little bit of a buy-in. I'll face you and mirror you on this one. So you're going to pick up the heel of your left foot, and just like your jumping rope, and I'm just gonna press off the left ball of the foot, just like so. And we're just 20 seconds here. Now, just for timing and coordination purposes, on every fourth one, we're going to press off. So you have one, two, three, press. One, two, three, press. One, two, three, press. So it's really four, two, three, press. So just kind of getting that feel of what it feels like to rebound off the foot. 
five seconds and we'll switch. Make sure that you're high on the back ball of the foot. Three, two, one, pause, just roll it out to the right. We're gonna switch, you're gonna lift up the ball or press into the ball of your right foot, lifting up the right heel. Only 20 seconds, feet about hip width, high on the back ball of the foot, and just start to, like you're jumping rope, you're just making sure that you're pressing into the ball of your right foot. And then on the fourth one, we're gonna do a little bit of a press, counting, we have one, two, three, press. One, two, three, press. One, two, three, press. 15 seconds, press. One, two, three, press. So it's a timing thing. Bouncing on the ball of the foot, waking it up. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Break down the hunter squat and then we're gonna do a little bit of a footwork. So what I'm looking for here is drawing a line with your right foot from the left heel at an angle. So both legs are gonna be straight. Chest is gonna be up. We're gonna do three reps. Imagine like you have a shield in front of you, like you're holding a shield, keeping the chest up, drawing everything in. Drop the hips, fight to keep the spine somewhat vertical. And then the knee is gonna line up right up with the ball of the foot, keeping the spine tall, the shoulders packed, stand straight up and straighten both legs. Keep the back heel lifted two more times. We'll drop, chest stays up. Now, if your knee doesn't reach all the way down, then just modify by keeping it a little more shallow, pressing up. Notice when you drop that your feet are in a position so that the knee can line up right up at the top of the foot. Pressing up. And then we're just gonna switch. So left leg goes back. Again, you can draw an angle, left heel, 45 degree. Both legs stay straight. That way when you drop down, the knee is right in line with the top of the foot. Press straight up, both legs straight, activate the rear glute. Two more, chest up, hold the shield, look forward, stand up. Your hip will drop all the way to the heel, last one. If you have the mobility, all the way down, looking forward, standing straight up, tap it. Okay, a little bit of punch swing footwork. So you're gonna start with your left foot forward, right foot back, I'm gonna walk you through this. You're gonna extend the right hand, punch, and then step, pivot, step, pivot, swing the hand overhead, back to center. Left foot forward, right leg back, punch. Keep it out there. Step, pivot, let the arm swing overhead. Left foot forward, right leg back, so punch. Leave the arm out there. Step with the left foot towards the back of the mat. Pivot with the right foot, swing the arm overhead and then back. Whew. Tap it for a second. Now just switch. Right foot forward, left leg back. You're gonna punch with the left, step back, swing and pivot. So punch, leave it out there. Step, swing, overhead. Swing it back, back into your shield position. You're gonna extend the left arm, punch, step with the right foot, pivot with the left, reach up, catch it, brace it, drop it back. Last one, punch, step, pivot, swing, step, pivot, forward. We're gonna do a mobility flow, a little buy-in, and get right to work. So